Good morning. Uh, so today I'm um, continuing with Snippet Pixie next. Um, and I need to make a decision as to how I'm going to build the UI. Um, what kind of formats I'm going to use. Am I going to use a component library as such or just do it manually on my own? So um, there's a couple of components libraries that I squirreled away. Um, yeah. So this one looks interesting. It's got Svelte, um, Agnostic UI, one style sheet, all the frameworks, UI components that work in React, View 3, and Svelte. Um, let's have a look. Where's, uh, where's the list? Oh, there we go. So, what have we got as options here? Okay, that was quite nice. Reasonable colors. Does it do automatic dark? So quick look, theme in. Right, okay. So you supply the colors. And it does the rest. That's quite neat. And it's got some sizes variables as well. Typography, focus. Hmm, okay. I picked up um, these component libraries from Awesome Svelte. Um, I haven't had time to quickly see what's what, but these three popped out. This is quite interesting. So I kind of like the, the way that they're going about things here. We've got some buttons. Okay. Even got them. The button groups, that could be handy. What's the source of that look like? Circle, what was that? I don't see that. Oh, is that maybe that? This doesn't match up with uh, the examples. That's a shame. So 
have a look at some of the other things I might use. So, cards, probably not going to use something like that. Choices, check boxes, yeah. Okay. Green. Choice input, checkbox and radio, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure I'm going to need a dialogue, but that might be handy. Okay, not sure about that. Divider. Okay. Presume it doesn't have. What would be handy is if it had a drag thing. What about lists? That's what we need to have. Okay, it's a multi select. Tabs might be handy. Okay, but where's don't think it's quite got to the point of where I need it at the moment, although it could be a good base if I wanted to add a couple of components on top. The draw. Okay, it's like a little overlay. Header. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Um. There's still 
it's still up fairly early on, I think. Let's have a look at some of the other ones I was quickly looking at. Uh, I, I don't think I'll be using this. It was interesting, though. Um, carbon is from IBM. Um, and it's... Uh, it's quite... It's quite a unique style, as in it's a very... Maybe things off, off center, like buttons and things like that. So I don't, don't think I will go for it. Um, what's that? Okay. What does the checks look like? Mm. It's very, it is very, very corporate-y, isn't it? Which I guess you would expect. It's very clear. Uh, I'm trying to see if there's anything that might swing the balance on that one. See, that's quite interesting. That could be a useful little component for me. For selecting snippets. Um, at the moment, I don't know. It's like a future plan to sort of group snippets. And so you can imagine them being a group in there. That kind of thing is quite handy. I'm sure I could make one though. Really needed it. Structured list. Okay. Hmm. Search box. Yeah. Radio tile. Well, that. That potentially could be my list. Yeah. Tar group on select detail. Hmm. Two-way binding. Tar group legend. Blah blah blah. Selected value one.
Interesting. Not even sure how that's working there. Hold on. So we've got the three plans and the values. And we start off with the first one selected. Then in the tile group, hold on, can I expand this? Yeah. Oh, bind selected. Okay. I missed that. Interesting. It's just this weirdness with the the offsetness. I've got a very distinctive look and feel. And I'm just not not quite sure about it. Okay. That's a bit of a red flag, just seeing something like that. They can't keep it in the box. Mm. Okay. I'm interested in that um, tile thing, though. I have lost. Now the group is a tile group. Oh, well. uh, let's have a look at the next one. Uh, so the next one is a kind of I haven't used Bootstrap in a while, but I did used to use it. Um, so this is Svelte Strap, so it's Bootstrap in a Svelte style. Um, So it's all kind of vaguely familiar. Um, things have moved on quite a while since I last used it. I think I have. I think I briefly used Bootstrap 4, but I was just kind of upgrading some version 3 stuff. Um, So it looks okay. So it's let's have a look at some of the stuff, I guess. All right. So what we've we got a list group. Okay. Oh, did not want to do that. So we've got colors and actions, all right. What I'm not enjoying here is that it's it's not making it obvious whether there's whether it just can switch to an active flag. So whether I can just bind and say, okay, this one in the group is active. That's what you want. Hmm. It's not obvious there. Okay. Um, 
what else have we got? Well, inputs I'll be using. You know what's missing here is examples. They should, instead of just having um, the inputs here, we really want to see like the data happening. So just a simple like when you do this, have a number being changed or you know, just another like this stuff here could be showing you know the email here and all that kind of stuff. And then in the code, I can just see it would be, uh, be nice to see a simple bind. I'm not seeing any notes about how to bind. Oh, here we go. Binding. Here we go. This is what we want. Right. Okay. I'm value, that's it. So you just use the usual stuff. Um, what have we got here? Form group. Form group label, da -da -da, input rows one. Oh, this is going to be expanding. Okay. Mm. I guess the layout stuff might be handy. Zip them in the bottom. Okay. I'm not sold on any of those just yet. I think one of the things is it means importing like a component library when I am using very little of it, which is fine in Svelte because it will um, tree shake and compile, hopefully, so that you get a bundle size, which is a bundle size, well, JavaScript file basically, which is way smaller than everything here. It should, in theory, be just what you need. I think maybe, I think maybe I should just start by just roughing out some data, get that working, 
And then if I want to, I can always swap in a component library. But in the meantime, I can just concentrate on getting some basic data working and displayed. And a sort of general idea of the flow of the app. Yeah. I think so. I do like these things though, they're quite handy, having those groups things. But I don't think I need them in this project. Uh, maybe a search one if they've got something like that. I can't, there's no tooltips always handy. Huh. Icon library. Primary, secondary, success, danger, yeah. Hmm. Don't think I'm going to use much of that. It's going to be very simple. I think the app is going to be a list detail. Just like it is in the moment, really. Not much difference. Okay. I think I should... I think my decision is, after having looked at those three, that I'm going to use so little of these component libraries and I have to buy into their ethos, although, you know, they're not, they're not a big jump, they're just like, hey, here's an input and here's a bind and stuff like that, which is quite cool. Um, it's just whether which one you take as your basis. They're all going to be roughly the same in the way that you place them and interact with them. But I could, yeah, I think I can come back and add in a component library if I need to. I'll start without. And I'll just kind of rough out with my own components and then swap them out if I need to. If I find that I'm getting bogged down in details that are better done by an existing component library. Yep. Okay, um, so let's do this then. So So at the moment, we've got some very rough CSS that I've picked up from my website. Most of this will be chopped out, but I might keep the colors um, and then use them as a basis for popping into anything, something else. That um, agnostic UI, the, the way that they're using 
variables that really appeals as you can see I use that already I've set up my site and um, this is obviously not a great example because I'm just using the Nord num uh, naming but ideally what I could do is um, well presumably I can just do something like let's do a second set so I could probably do um, so primary um, and in, I wonder whether that would work as bar. What would I use? Well, if this is for primary buttons and things, um, maybe Nord 10. Oh, it's picked it up, okay. And then maybe secondary. So this is what we've picked for primary. Secondary would just be a bit lighter, I guess. Maybe. Let's do Yeah. We'll do, just do a soft one for the moment and then we can always change it. Um, and let's do... Let's make this... And uh, zero. So I should, in theory, be able to do this then. Um, all right, so text. Should I do foreground? So at the moment I am using Nord 6, which is the brightest. I think I'll stick with that. Do that here. Okay. Right, need to take that out. And Hmm. I'll take that out at the moment. I can always put that back if I need to. Uh, now, titles.
Why did I jump to seven? Skip. Hmm. Now I gotta remember how to tertiary. Is that right? I'm going to do that. And here, we'll just use the primaries for the moment. And then, don't think I'm going to have much in the way of that, but they're there for the moment. I can always take them out later. Right, links. Probably not going to have much in the way of links. maybe to documentation and stuff. So we'll have a color. What color primary, if it sticks out enough? So that is uh, invalid, is it? Okay. We'll leave that at the moment as monospace, but I expect I'll be uh, taking that out and uh, using a, a more normal font at some point. Uh, so, links, I probably don't need to do this. Okay, let's um, get out a couple of other tokens is here. So we're going to have danger. And that is going to be... 11. Warning. That's 13. Success is 14. And I think it'd be handy to have Might be handy to have a highlight or something. Let's change this later. But that'll be maybe 12. That might clash a bit. But it's there. Um,
Um, I suspect I'll come back and do some sort of border thing at some point. That'll be... Maybe Nord 2 or 3. Let's just stick one in. Yeah, I'll do three at the moment so I can see it easily. Um, but yeah. Okay, so we've got a few colours there, some tokens in the uh, agnostic UI parlance that I saw. Um, let's... I think I can take that out. I'm not going to use that. I want them underlined by default. Uh, list items. Well, that will depend on how they're being used. So I could take that out for the moment and I can sort that out. Block quotes. Again. Probably not going to use just now, but I can always steal it from my site again if I want it. Um, and then I don't think I'm going to have any special Free stuff. Maybe later if I need to show code examples for something, but I can't think what I would. So here's some basic stuff then. Text color. All right, so let's... Interesting, it's not show, it doesn't show color there. But anyway, so I've gone for foreground, which is bright. Okay. Now, at the moment, we've got a very slim UI. All we've got is a Hello World. Um, and that's global CSS to set up some tokens and some defaults for various bits and bobs. Um, and we're just using primary, secondary, tertiary, and primary there. You know when you look at a word and you're like, did I did I type that right? Is that right? I can't tell. I think it's right. Okay. Um right, let's Let's build this. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll do it in dev mode. It says. So what I'll do. So I'll just do Wales dev here and see how that goes.
Okay. So that's the little hello world. Let's resize that down a bit. Uh, can I do a... I thought there was a, like a Zen mode. Is there a Zen mode? Um, I want Zen CSS. What is this Zen CSS and where is it coming from? Oh, where's the. Uh... Don't give me that. What I want to do is I want to switch, is it task then? No. Okay, just get rid of that window, please. Oh. That's annoying. Why can't I find? I know there is a Zen mode, right? Learn ID features here. Yeah. Search. Distraction free mode. Okay, right, so it's distraction free I want. Okay, that's why it's not working, because I already used that <laughs> for uh, Snippet Pixie. It's my fault. Right, go to the view, appearance. 
enter view in mode or exit view in mode. I'll go to view quick switch scheme. And again, what was that? View Right, okay. Interesting. Can I get back to the terminal? Yes, that's good. All right, let's do that again then. And I will put that back over there and resize it down a bit. I'm not going to be able to get much done, but I want to do just play um, with these colors, just make sure it works as expected. Um, let's, um, let's go to... And what we're going to do, we're going to have well, the thing is, I'm going to be built in a whole bunch of components, there's nothing. There's not going to be any like basic text straight in this view. I'll need to build out some bits and bobs. But um, so let's say um, let's just test out some of this CSS, this global CSS. So what we can do is um, actually <laughs> What we can do is we could just do some silliness here. So what we'll do is we'll do this, um, and we'll just say color Okay. Um, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, okay. So let's just test out these things. Just want to see what the colors are like. I should have switched that.
Okay. I think isn't there there might isn't there a style thing now? Oh, I could just add one anyway. Um so let's do now uh, why is that complaining? Ah. Actually, yeah, that's a good point. Let's just do that. So that won't do anything just now because we don't actually have those styles. <clears throat> so what we can do is here. Well, there's two ways we could do this. We could do global styles. But it's probably more fun to do something like, so if these, these things were actually like in components somewhere, we would then do um, things like um, let's see, uh, we would do say let's do well, we need to do color so color is going to be like that and then we might want to do something like Same again, I guess a border, the same. Um, and then well, we need to do some padding around it. What have we got so far? So let's do that. So let's do, say, some padding of 0.5 mem. It's a bit better, isn't it? And then maybe Maybe oh, that's okay. That'll be all right, I think. Maybe if I bump that a little bit, it'll be a little bit easier to see.
didn't make much difference, but it is a little bit softer. But yeah, you can imagine doing that in um, in some sort of well, that could be a button actually. That's the kind of style we could use in a button for like delete. And then so these, I mean, these, um, What you'd really do is just use the color. For you to have a color and a border color, and then a default um, border thickness and style for that kind of button component and stuff. So we could do all that, but for the moment, let's just um, make sure the colors look okay. So I'll switch this out to warning, and then I'll do this one to success. Cool. Hmm. Well, I've run out of time, but yeah, I think if I'm making a UI for me, for my desktop, I could certainly use some of this stuff in a very simple manner and just use Nord colors and then maybe set it up so that other themes can be picked for other desktops and stuff or just keep it Nord, it's like that would be the snippet pixie way hmm We'll see. Okay, um, right, I've got to go. Um, so thanks for watching, um, but until next time, you take care. Bye.